Namaste friends, welcome to Power Yoga. I'm cheekily calling this class the Basic Betsy. It starts with a good opening in the hips through lunges. We get into a nice flow with our sun salutations A and B, some standing postures before ending with a little play in Bakasana, our crane pose. Um, arm balance, both with hands on the ground and from a supine position to get those abs really engaged and involved before we take a little Shavasana. So I hope it's a nice, well-rounded, sort of heat it up, cool it down through the body, back and forth practice. Enjoy. Good. So comfortable seats, sit nice and tall through the spine. As we do, relax the shoulders up, back, and down. And gently close the eyes or turn your gaze low. Nice full breath in, full breath out. Settling into the motivation that led you to roll out the mat come to practice today. Let that help you from breath to breath. Perhaps layering in a deeper intention that indeed keeps you coming back to the mat time and time again. Within this mindset, let's start. Chin down to the chest. Rock the right ear over towards the right shoulder. Half moon shapes, chin back down to the chest, left ear to left shoulder. Just a little bit back and forth here. Side to side. And then keep the chin over towards the right side. Right ear over towards the right shoulder. Walk the left fingertips out. Take the right hand on top of the left ear for that extra little tug. Bring the hands back to the thighs, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder. Walk the right fingertips out and take the left hand on top of the right ear. Bring hands back down to the thighs, chin to the chest. Gently lift the chin, open the eyes, check out your surroundings. And when you're ready, come on over to all fours. Place the hands under the shoulders and the knees right underneath the line of the hips and do cat and cow back and forth through the spine. And then from cat and cow, stretch into downward facing dog. and keep the movement going. Pedal out your feet, shake out the head a bit, anything that feels nice here. Plant both heels evenly down towards the ground in a more still downward facing dog. And then pick up your right hand, take it under and through the body into a down dog twist. Hold on to the left leg, high or low. Look underneath that left shoulder. Set the right hand back down, do it on the second side. Left hand crosses underneath, hold on to the right leg, twist. And then set the hands back down. Inhale, come forward to plank pose. And then lower flat down to the mat. Just baby cobra. Lift the hands as you lift the chest. So it's a tiny little lift. 
Lower it down, press back to child's pose, knees apart, big toes together. Let the hips sink down and back. Walk both hands over towards the right side in this twisted child's pose. And then across the center, on over to the left side. Bring it back to the middle, come up again to all fours. Downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up into the air, three-legged dog. Bend the knee and open the hip. And then step the foot all the way forward into the low lunge. Take the right hand high into revolved lunge. As you lower the hands back down, rocking horse, rock back and forth with the legs, straighten and bend here. And the hands could both come to the inside of the leg to make this a bit more accessible. Legs don't have to go all the way straight, just warming up. Having a little bit of room through the hamstrings, low back here. And then stay into the bend of the right knee. Do take both hands to the inside and take down dog lunge. Spin the back heel down and walk your hands out over the left corner of the mat. Broaden the knee a little bit away from the shoulder. Deep, full breaths. Again, bring the hands back around the front foot. Lift the back heel, drop the left knee to the ground and walk your hands up to the front thigh. Let your hips sink a bit down and forward here. Either staying here or adding the quad stretch and twist. So it's left hand down to the ground, pull the left heel in towards the seat. Take a twist to look over the right shoulder. Stay there or reach the right hand to grab hold of the foot and pull it in a little bit more intently for the quad stretch. Let's slowly, carefully back out of the whole thing into plank position. And in plank pose, we're gonna march it out a little bit. Just march your legs right in place for the count of 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and then lower it down. Again, pick the hands up, lift the chest for cobra. Letting that back really strengthen and work. And as you lower it down, press through child's pose, give it a breath. And then right into downward facing dog and the second side. Lift the left leg up, three legged dog. Bend the knee and open the hip. And then we change, set the left foot all the way through. Find your stride, take it into the revolved lunge, left hand high. Lower the hands to the inside, spin the back heel. Down, down dog lunge. Oh, I forgot that rocking horse. We'll come back to it, no problem. The beauty of knowing well enough the sequence that we find our way through. There we go. Let's walk our hands back in around the front foot or to the inside and take the rocking horse back and forth with the legs. Straighten and bend, straighten and bend. No wrong way to get it done.
Stay with the deep bend in the front knee. Drop the back knee. Walk the hands up to the front thigh. You can stay as upright or as down and forward as feels right right now. And take your right hand down and a little bit off to the side so that it does take some weight onto it. And then pull that right heel up towards your seat. Again, we're looking for a steady quad stretch with the hip opening here. Gaze out over your left shoulder so you get a twist involved in the upper body. One reason I like this pose so much, there's a lot involved with it. Reach the left hand back, start to open up chest, shoulder mobility, maybe hold on to the foot. And then slowly walk yourself back out of it, again into plank position. This time as we get into plank pose, lift your right leg up, give it a little bit of an extra squeeze and pulse high for five, four, three, two, one. Set the right leg down, do it on the left side. Left leg lifts up about the height of the hip and then take it higher for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the leg down, come down to the mat. Cobra, this time press the hands into the mat to lift the chest a little bit higher. Right into downward facing dog, tuck the toes and the hips. Deep bend in the knees, walk the hands backwards. It's always a good shift in weight and mobility. Walk us back here. And then you get this pleasant hang. Ragdoll pose, hold on to the elbows, sway a little bit from side to side. Roll it all the way up to standing. Shoulder rolls up, back and down a couple of times. And inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Walk back forward again to downward facing dog. This puts us right into sun salutation A. Come forward to plank. Lower to the mat. Feel the chest. Cobra. Downward dog with the hips up and back. Take several breaths right here. Now look forward in between the hands and move to the front end of the mat. Half lift, forward fold, stand, reach the arms to the sky, palms to the center of the chest. Do it all over from the start. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Lower down to the yoga mat. Inhale, cobra, peel the chest up. Exhale, down dog, lift the hips up and back. Breathe here. Look in between the hands, step or jump to the front end of the mat. Half lift, forward fold, stand, reach the arms to the sky, palms together, center of the chest. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, step back to plank, lower down to the mat. Cobra, downward dog, 
three steady breaths. Look forward, step or jump to the front of the mat, half lift, forward fold, stand, reach the arms to the sky. Palms come to the center of the chest. Pause, take two breaths. Check in with that motivation and intention. How are they continuing on for you? And again, using those intentions to keep us present here on the mat. Start with Utkatasana now. Bend the knees, sit into the thighs. It's our chair pose. Power pose, all sorts of good names for this one. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift. Step back to plank. Lower down to the mat. Cobra or even up dog is the straight arm leg position with the hips lifted. And then downward facing dog. Warrior one, step the right foot in between the hands, spin the back heel down. With the torso upright, take the arms to the sky. Give it a whole breath right here in warrior one. And then lower the hands and step back through plank. This is a good time to measure whether you want to keep the vinyasas going or hold plank for two breaths. Continuing on, it's Chaturanga through Cobra. And then everyone shifts to Downward Facing Dog. And second set, left foot forward into the low lunge. Spin the back heel down so you come up for Warrior One. Shape the hips and shoulders towards the front of the mat. Arms to the sky, big breath. On the next exhale, lower the hands down, plank pose. Continue the flow or hold your plank. Everyone comes back to dog pose together. Next inhale, look to your hands and then step or jump to the front end of the mat. Half lift, forward fold, Utkatasana, bend the knees, sit into the thighs, stand, bring the palms together, center of the chest. So there's two more rounds of Sun Salutation B like that. Let's go right into it, Utkatasana. Fold over, half lift. Plank, Chaturanga, Cobra, Down Dog. Right foot forward, Warrior One. Even a little quicker this time, just half a breath in the full Warrior. And then right back, hands down through the plank to the mat. Cobra, Down Dog. Second side, left foot forward, back heel down. Warrior one. Lower the hands, up the body through and down to the mat. Lift for cobra, down dog. Pause for a few breaths in downward facing dog. Whether we've arrived here faster or slower, there's a little Spare a few breaths. Next inhale again. Look forward, step or jump to the front. Half lift. Forward fold. Utkatasana. Stand. Breathe the intention. Breath in. Breath out. We're ready to go. Final sun salutation B right here. Utkatasana. 
fold over, half lift, plank to the mat, cobra or up dog, downward dog. Right side always gets us going. Warrior one. Hands down. Plank. Chaturanga. Cobra. Down dog. Left side. Warrior one. Here we go. Hands down. Chaturanga. Cobra. And down dog. The repetition of the poses is warming the body as it helps to release and relax the mind. Stay focused just on this movement. Let go of the other things that just aren't necessary right now. Look in between the hands, step or jump to the front of the mat, half lift and fold. Utkatasana, take that power position. Stand and greet the heart center. Breath in, breath out. One more breath standing right here and out. From here, we're gonna take it right into tree pose. Find a place to focus thy eyes, lift the arms to the sky. Hands can be pretty wide here, wider than the shoulders. And then take your right foot onto your left leg. Drag your heel higher, higher, higher until it's time to stop. Press the heel into the leg, leg into the heel. If you find yourself out of balance, no big deal. We'll stay here a moment, allow ourselves to find that center. Stay as you are. And now lift the right knee as high as you can towards the right armpit or elbow. And circle the leg towards the front. Shoot the leg back as you hinge forward for warrior three. And from warrior three, lower the right leg to the mat. Come into your high lunge. It should be left leg forward, right leg back in that high lunge. Drop the back heel open to the long side of the mat for warrior two. That right hand can sweep back and through. Gaze out over the front fingertips and sit lower into the front thigh. Take the front elbow to the knee, top arm palm down overhead for side angle. And then look down at that left leg, circle the hands on either side of the foot and step through to plank. Lower to the mat, lift the chest for cobra, downward facing dog, lift the hips up and down. Gaze forward in between the hands. Step, jump, or walk, front of the mat. Half lift, forward fold. Stand up, reach the arms to the sky. Back to the center of the chest, breath in. Breath out. Lift the arms back up. Tree pose on the second side without using the hands. So now the left heel goes right onto the leg. Then pull the elevator line up. Anywhere above or below the knee here. Don't worry about it being too, too tall. 
with the knee out, the toes down. Stay as you are, give it one more breath. And then lift the left knee as high as you can towards your armpit. Circle it around to the front. Kick the leg back as you hinge forward at the hip. Chest goes forward into a T-shape for warrior three. Feel free to bend that standing leg. I do plenty. And lower the back leg down so that you can come upright into crescent or high lunge. We'll drop the left heel down, sweep the left hand behind us to open up into warrior two. Gaze out over your front fingertips. Sit a little lower into the front thigh, keep challenging yourself there. And then side angle, right elbow to the knee, sweep the back arm, overhead, palm down, big full reach. Again here, cartwheel the hands down around the front foot, step through to plank. Lower to the mat, cobra, downward facing dog. Look forward to the hands, step or jump all the way to the front end of the mat. Half lift. Forward fold, stand, reach the arms to the sky, and take palms together, center of the chest. Breath in, and breath out. Release the arms, give everything a good bit of a wiggle and shake, just release. All right, and then we're going to take a wide stance facing the side edge of our mat. Send the arms out in either direction, so a big star shape. Good. Turn the right toes out, keep the left toes straight ahead, and then hinge and reach to your right side. Lower the hand down, triangle pose. Find your leg or the ground, top arm to the sky. Imagine making one line and that bottom hand, shoulder across the shoulders up to the top hand. It always takes leaning the head almost a little bit back and I feel as though I'm pushing my back hip a little bit forward to level it out. On the next inhale, we're going to stand all the way up and spin on the feet. Turn the back toes straight ahead. Facing the opposite direction, hinge and reach as far as you can over the left side. Drop the left hand down to your leg or the floor, top arm up to the sky. Again, it should feel as though you're almost pushing the hips a little bit forward, that tailbone tucked underneath you. Try looking up if that feels all right. Nice job in triangle pose. Come all the way up to standing again. Star pose, turn the feet parallel to one another. Big full reach out. Wide legged forward fold, drop the hands down to the floor and then reach the head down towards the floor. Feel free to have some bend in the knees. If you're keeping your legs straight though, really weighing the weight forward into the toes, out of the heels here. Get a nice firm lift on kneecaps, tone the thighs. Wide legged forward fold. Walk the hands 
out now under the line of the shoulders. So it kind of looks like the half lift, extend from the hips out to the crown of the head. And then lateral lunge, walk both hands over towards the right foot, bend the right knee, keep the feet as is. We're trying to get a nice inner leg stretch on that left side. And then take it over to the second side, walk the hands to frame a little bit in front of the other leg. One more time to each side for good measure here. I always find these lateral lunges pretty difficult, so finding a couple of repetitions there is a good way to start to open them up. Okay, walk yourself back to the center, hands to the waist, press down into the feet and come all the way upright, heel toe the feet together. At this point, sometimes I go into uh, Parsvottanasana, our pyramid pose, and into a revolved triangle pose. I'm going to skip that session section so that uh, as you come back up to the front of the mat, we can get in a quick little arm balance play and some core strengthening. So from here at the front end of the mat, again, lift the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. I want you to heel toe the feet as wide as the yoga mat. Maybe step back a little bit so the hands have a place to go still on your mat. Okay, this is a little play with Vakasana, but maybe in a different way. Set the palms flat down. So bend the knees enough so that you can get palms flat down and feet flat down. And we're trying to close the space between the belly and your thighs, pressing them onto one another so that the knees then can rock really close to the upper arm bones. Rock forward and away. You're just taking the heels off of the mat to get the knees onto your upper arm bones and then back. I want you to press that three more times. Knees forward, tone in the abdomen, heels off the mat, and then heels flat as you rock back. Do it again two and back and then three. Stay forward, knees on the um, upper arm bones, they could be as high as into the armpits, though they don't have to be. Pick up just your right heel, pull it in towards the midline of the body. Like a tick-tock, as the right foot comes down, can you pick up the left? And then we're going side to side like that for four, three, two, and one. Both feet come and stay up, full bakasana for five, four, three, two, one. Step the whole thing back to plank pose. Lie down on your belly and flip over on your back. As we lie down onto the back, pull the knees into the chest and then take the knees wide but big toes stay together. So we're still in that Vakasana work. Take the hands straight up to the sky. And this time, like a crunch, you're lifting head and shoulders off of the mat and staying here. Pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the head and shoulders back down. Take both knees over towards the right side so you're now in a Twisted position, trying to get the right elbow to hook just barely to the outside of the left leg. If you were to lift up like we're going to do now, head, shoulders lift up, trying to keep the twist and pulse. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Definitely not an exact science, just kind of playing with it. Trying to keep the balance is a great work for the abdomen. 
Lower both knees over towards the left side or sway them towards the left side is probably the better thing to say. And then lift head and shoulders up, trying to kind of balance on that left side just a little bit. And we add the crunch, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center, release everything. Just hold around your legs, rock a little bit from side to side. I know that you're lying back there. I know that it might not be super clear, no problem. The idea is getting abdomen, core really involved and secure, doing the pose on our back before we have to put weight on our hands. So soles of the feet now onto the ground. We're going to just shift into a different look here. Bridge pose, soles of the feet on the ground, shoulders back of the head stay there and lift the hips up all the way high to the sky to open up and stretch that front side of the body as you strengthen squeeze the glutes into the hamstrings hands can interlace underneath you walk a little more towards the midline to give that extra bit of a lift bridge pose tends to have a little pull or tweak into the knees. Try your feet wider apart, even turn out the toes a little bit and see if it helps. We'll lower everything flat down. Lift the legs straight up to the sky. Leg raises so the hands can stay on either side of you or sit on them for a little bit more support. Take the feet about a foot off of the ground, maybe two, and then straight back up to the sky. We'll do it five more times. Leg raises, we go down and up, down and up. Three more times here. Down and up. Down and up. Try to keep mid to low back. Down towards the mat. Engage belly button moving towards you. Last one there. And then again, knees back into the chest. Okay, take the hands out to our T shape. This gets us into that full release and relaxation. Set the knees over towards the right side into a supine twist. Not that it's easy, but it's a little bit more about letting go here rather than strengthening. Supine twist. And heavy breaths out. Give that release. Lower the legs over towards the second side. to the center. If there's any last bits of a movement, adjustment that would feel good to you, please take it here. Otherwise, we're unwinding into Shavasana. You could lie down on your back or take a seated Shavasana. Up to you.
where you are, slowly finding your way back to a seated position. Gonna add full head roll here, back in our seated position. If that doesn't feel like a good idea to you, just stay in the stillness. If you're joining me, it's chin down to the chest, right ear to right shoulder. Now working the head all the way back and around. Two head rolls in each direction. Mindfully continuing to release those last bits of tension, leaving you as full and open for the day as possible. Two head rolls in the second direction as well. As you return back towards center, palms together, draw into the sternum. And as a way of sending the good intentions of this time on our mat through practice into the rest of the day and week, I close with the very beginning, the opening sound of Om. Feel free to join along by singing, listening. You're of course also welcome to tune me out here. Empty the breath. Take a deep breath in. gratitude to you each other this practice thank you